In this video, we are going to be taking a look at Trash Dash. Trash Dash is an endless runner sample game created by the Unity content team, built to run on mobile devices. Trash Dash makes use of the lightweight render pipeline and also asset bundles for its characters and environment, allowing you to easily add more content to the game after deployment with minimal update size. Built for use on a wide range of devices, it also uses unlit shading for performance. In the current version, we use the built-in unlit shader and a couple of custom shaders for rendering. We build and load asset bundles through custom code. However, two new features, currently in preview, offer a better and easier alternative. These are the lightweight render pipeline and the addressable system. In this video, we are going to show you how you can quickly set up your project to use these new features using Trash Dash as an example. The lightweight rendering pipeline is built with the new scriptable rendering pipeline feature, or SRP for short. SRP allows programmers to entirely rewrite how Unity renders a scene, contrary to the current system that has a couple of fixed rendering pipelines, for example, deferred and forward rendering. SRP offers lots of flexibility to tailor the rendering processes for your project, but can add work depending on the degree to which your graphics programmer wants to customise the rendering process. Since lots of projects won't need to rewrite the whole pipeline, but just potentially tweak some parts, Unity offers two already written scriptable rendering pipelines. The High Definition Rendering Pipeline, packed with all the latest cutting-edge effects aimed at high-end PC and console, and the Lightweight Rendering Pipeline, which is smaller and more optimised for a larger range of devices, mobile included. Both are open source, so it is possible to get the code and modify them if the need arises. Generally speaking, if possible, we recommend starting with and modifying one of these existing rendering pipelines, rather than writing your own pipeline from scratch. To use the lightweight rendering pipeline, let's open the Package Manager from Windows, Package Manager. Let's find the lightweight rendering pipeline package. Once selected, Let's select Install to add it to the project. We can now close the Package Manager window. Once added to our project, we need to create a new Rendering Pipeline asset. We can do this by right-clicking in the Project window, via Create, Rendering, and choosing Lightweight Pipeline Asset. Let's select the Lightweight Pipeline Asset. As we can see in the Inspector window, this asset offers settings that we can use to customise the pipeline to suit our project. For example, Trash Dash doesn't use lighting, so let's disable all parameters related to shadows, but let's keep dynamic batching, so that dynamic elements like the obstacles will still get batched for performance. We now need to assign the rendering pipeline we just created as the active one in our project, so that Unity can use it to render the scenes. We can do this by opening Project Settings, graphic settings, and then dragging the rendering pipeline asset we created into the rendering pipeline slot. Our project will now be rendered with the lightweight rendering pipeline using the settings we selected. If we used a simple shader, like the built-in standard unlit shader, or a custom shader using basic vertex input like position or colour, they should just work in the new rendering pipeline, because that pipeline sends the same data to the shader as the current built-in pipeline. But if we use a standard shader, like the original material shown here, they will now not render. We can easily upgrade these materials automatically though. We can do this through Edit, Rendering Pipeline, and Upgrade Project Materials to Lightweight Materials. We can see that this has upgraded our built-in shader, and the shader in use is now the standard lightweight pipeline shader. With just a few simple steps, we now have the Trash Dash project set up for use with the lightweight rendering pipeline. This should lead to improved rendering performance on mobile platforms, as we are now no longer performing some of the rendering operations that were being performed by default using the built-in pipeline. 